Hi, Calendar Plus is a Chrome extension intended for Google Calendar Power users. Once you have our extension installed and you navigate to Google Calendar, you can see the main dashboard of our extension by clicking the Calendar Plus button at the top right of the screen. The top left panel of the dashboard is the Goals section. Within the Goals section, users can select specific calendars that are in their Google Calendar and an amount of time that they would like to spend working on those tasks. The Goals panel is nice because it shows you how productive you're being in the current week with just a quick glance. So you can add as many calendars you want here and then when you're done editing this section, all you need to do is click the save button and this will automatically update the UI to reflect those calendars. The next section is the stack chart section. The stack chart section provides a day by day overview of how much time you've been spending on each calendar. The data in the stack chart section can also be exported by clicking the export button at the top right of the screen. The weekly data is exported in JSON format. The next section of the UI is the time chart. The time chart provides a detailed overview whether you want hours or average minutes of each calendar in your Google Calendar. There's also this heat map that gets darker with the more time you spend on each calendar. This is the place for the day-by-day -day breakdown of all the time you've been spending on each one of your calendars. The bottom of the time chart provides totals for the amount of time that you've worked each day. Moving on, we have our donut chart and our autocomplete predictions. You can hover over any section of the donut chart and it gives you information on which calendar it is and how much time you've been spending on that calendar. The autocomplete prediction section tries to create events for each one of your calendars that it thinks you need in your calendar. By typing in the name of the event, it will already know which calendar you're trying to do based on the autocomplete predictions and it will add the event to that calendar. We've also added the ability to use short names to add events to specific calendars. The calendar short names can be configured from the main panel of the UI as shown here. The short names are completely customizable by clicking the edit button in the short names panel. Our extension also provides support for different length of time views. These can be selected in the top right panel. Here's an example of what it looks like when we change it to just the day. So here you can set goals you want to work on for just a day and all the charts will update to your progress for just that day. Here what the week, month, and year views look like by selecting the views from the top right panel. Once again, any of these panels data can be exported to JSON by clicking the export button. Here's what that looks like for the time chart for the year view. The preferences panel of the extension allows users to customize the extension even further. This includes the option of changing the opacity for ghosted events. The ghosting of events feature is useful for events on your calendar that you don't need to see all the time. By ghosting these events, it can greatly declutter your calendar to make you more productive.
The layout of the UI can also be completely customized by clicking the edit button at the top right of the screen. You can make any changes you'd like and then click the save button at the top right of the screen and the UI will automatically update your changes. If you'd like to try out our extension, you can do so by visiting the link, note that it is case sensitive, or you can scan the QR code below. If you do try out the extension, please remember to leave us a review, and any feedback is greatly appreciated, whether that's good or bad feedback, so we can make the extension even better. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch our presentation, and we'll now open it up to any questions you guys may have.